Hello everyone. Um, today's video, I'm not sure that today is Wednesday the 12th. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it up. Depends on how long it is. I don't know if I'm going to get it up today or if it's going to over going to be uploaded overnight. Um, it's going to be a rant video. Well, somewhat of a rant video. Not a happy video. Because I don't think you'd be very happy either. Um, I got woke up today, which is fine. I don't mind getting woke up if it's something important. Um, was woke up today. Oh, yes, I'm in my... My... Um, workout shirt so yeah it's really baggy and loose on me anyways I was woke up today by a phone call from my brother's parole officer now he had the phone number to my grandmother's he had the phone number to my father uh, and there's the they're the ones that were supposed to take um, one he once he got released from his facility he had to live at a place for so many amount of months like he had to have an address and the address was at my grandparents house and he was supposed to live there stay there um, for the remainder of his parole because it was that was his safe haven well my grandfather doesn't want him there and I don't blame my grandfather at all so he's been staying here and staying there and staying in a motel and this town staying in the motel and the town up the county now this week he's staying with his married girlfriend because her husband's on vacation in Florida so he's staying with her at her house and the parole officer asked me where um, he came out and said it I'm looking for your brother I want your brother um, where is he located where is he staying where's what's the address you know tell me how to get find him I need to find him now I want to find him now and this is something I've been praying for and hoping for and waiting on. His parole officer to finally say, okay, yes, he's causing problems and yes, he needs to be held accountable. I told him the exact directions to where my brother's staying right now. And then he said okay thank you very much I'm going to call your grandmother now because she asked to call me I want to see if she has any information for me so I let about 30 minutes go by then I call my grandmother and ask did you speak with Andrew's parole officer she said yes she did I said, okay, did you, anything, did any, did he say anything, whatever, you know. She said, well, I told him, I told the parole officer to wait on picking Andrew up because he had lost his glasses and had a appointment to get some glasses. And he also lost his flipper, which is a partial, like, for the, for like, Four, three or four of these teeth in the front he has a partial that can come in and out or whatever it's a metal plastic I don't know fake teeth anyways he has lost that he got high and lost his third or fourth one and they cost like a thousand dollars to make so he's so he's got an appointment at the dentist to get a new flipper a new partial and each time he gets a partial, the impression has to be made bigger because he has meth mouth and bad teeth. Like, all of his teeth are bad. So, I'm sitting here with one bad tooth that needs pulled. Um, 
because my grandmother refused to have it crowned so I could save it because it cost too much. But yet they're going to replace, they're yet again going to replace another partial for my brother and it costs over a thousand dollars. It doesn't cost but like a hundred and twenty, hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty dollars to pull a tooth. They won't let me go do that, but they'll let Andrew, my meth addicted brother, get a new partial. Not they, my grandma. Not my grandpa, my grandma. Who's going to pay for it? My grandpa. The bill's going to come to the house. He's not going to be happy when it, when it comes, I promise. Um... So she has convinced the parole officer just to wait until he gets through with the dentist and until he gets through with the, the optometrist to get his glasses. Like his parole officer was, was ready to like get him. But yet my grandmother has yet again pulled him out of harm's way to save him from getting in trouble. I don't care if he had a dentist appointment. I don't care if he had an appointment to get glasses. He can go without glasses. He can go without that motherfucking partial. That's the honest truth. And if I was in his position, they wouldn't be doing this for me. At all. Because I know better, right? I know better. They just say, oh, well, he don't know better. He's messed up in the head. Yeah, because he's a fucking meth addict. And a pill popper that pops ten dehydros at once. Or ten Adipex at once. Or drinks liquid methadone. He's like weighing, he weighs like 120 pounds. He's skin and bones. My frustration is... The parole officer was ready to get him today, and my grandma has now convinced the parole officer to wait. How long? I don't know. Today's Wednesday. Uh, he's not going to the dentist today. If he goes to the dentist, it will be tomorrow because our dentist is not open on Fridays. So he either has to wait until tomorrow or next week when he gets to get glasses in the partial. Do you see my? Fr do you understand my frustration here? I hope you do. And I'm sorry this is another rant video, but my God Almighty, we had the parole officer in the palm of our hands. Finally, he was ready to get him. And then you put it off because he wants, they want, she wants to replace his partial for him that costs over $1,000? And you won't even let me crown, she wouldn't let me crown my tooth a year ago to save it. Now I've had to let it go bad completely and, and now it has to be pulled just like the other side. She wouldn't let me get it crowned. And crowns don't cost as much as a fucking partial. You know, I want to save as many teeth as I got and I don't want to be toothless and not be able to eat and chew and you know what I mean? Andrew has destroyed his mouth with meth. But they send him over there to get fillings and partials and anything and everything that he wants they give him. Money out the ass. Pay for him a hotel room for a week at a time. Go buy him food, buy him gas. When his ride or whoever runs out of gas. They just did that recently. The, the ride Andrew had ran out of gas like four miles out of town and my dad had to get up at midnight and go take him gas. But yet, like, I call and say, can I have $20 for some cigarettes or $20 to buy a gallon of milk and some cereal and some bread and it's like, it's like literally pulling fucking teeth from, from them. And they've got money. That ain't the problem. They just hold, they're holding... Now, at this point, they're holding me, holding me at a lower standard anymore. They're holding my brother at a higher standard, like he's more of a priority 
so they can keep him out of trouble. But yet he's been doing this for years and years and years and years and years and years. His first DWI was at 16. Wrecked his brand new vehicle they bought him. They never bought me a brand new vehicle. My vehicle was second hand. My first vehicle was second, third, fourth hand. It was year it was made the year I was born, my first vehicle was. Yeah, and they go out and buy him a brand new S10 and he wrecks it at 16 and gets a DWI. He's been doing shit since he was 16. He's now 26, 27. Fines out the ass, you know, tickets. Jail time. He got he pulled got pulled over in Bryant, which is two hours away from here, and had a ticket and didn't show didn't report at court. Anyways, my phone's ringing. I'm gonna answer it. Peace. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. It's another rant video, but whatever. It's life.